Wenn, dann müsste das Raubvögelchen jetzt noch eine Runde fliegen. Dass man das filmen kann. Michael schiebt das Viech mal in die Luft, dass die Janet das sehen kann, wenn du darüber kommunizieren würdest. Willst du? Das würde ich mal als Ja deuten. Das würde ich auch als Ja deuten. Also Janet Jackson, das ist Michael. Gehe ich von aus tatsächlich. This is Michael Janet. I started to film when birds were on the sky, like hunting birds. And he's agreeing on that, that I started filming then by triggering the wind that more wind is coming. And that it's him. So, and what I did, I put a camera on when I saw all these birds circling over the house. And in the camera frame, in the view, you can see one bird like in one of the videos. Short, only a short scene. And then I started to communicate with Michael if you want to send this bird to the sky again because I missed it by filming it better. And I think he did that to communicate with you. And the storm is agreeing on it, Janet. <laughs> That's Michael. Can you see that, how big that tree is? That's the surrounding here, just that you get a size dimension. So he triggered the wind clearly a couple of times now by making it stronger on point that you can see that this is a clear reaction from him when I talk. That is what happened in the camera view. And now you hear more sound here. That's when he triggered the wind again. See, on point, and then the big wind waves come there. And this whole tree starts shaking. So Janet Jackson, this is Michael Jackson for you actually saying hello. He's in Bonn at the moment. Do you agree on that? Yeah. So if we have triggered the wind, like that scale, I try to put the camera down here so because then I can, that it's not shaking so much. You can see how much wind was used for shaking that tree. Now he's gonna produce another wind wave, I think. You wanna do that, Michael? Yes. Yes? Do you want to or not? Janet, I'm checking with him now. I need a clear answer from his side. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to outread his communication if we have problems there. Do you want to trigger the wind again? Yes, he wants to trigger the wind again, so more wind will reach this tree. Did I get it right, Michael? I think so. So he's triggering the wind now, and more wind is reaching this big tree. You can hear the wave now coming. And you could see more movement in the tree, Janet. If you would be live here in Bonn, now you see the wave, how it's coming complete to the tree and it's shaking more and more. If you would be around here, I show my face, so you have the scale. So if you would be around here now, you could feel the wind always coming if I request it on point. Like right now I was talking to you and Michael did more noise over here and again so that you can understand the system. So if you would be here right now, Janet, you could communicate with him like this actually and I could help you to understand the system and help him to show you exactly the plans he's he gonna communicate over, for example. And that's something I could find out here live in Bonn, if you would be here. For example, tomorrow. Then you could communicate the same way with Michael, like I'm doing it today here in Bonn. 
uh, you could do it live here in Bonn if you want to. Just that you receive the information and by the wind waves which reach that place exactly he's agreeing on what I'm saying. That's part of the system. Sometimes there can be space for misunderstanding but in this case it's clear to me as the human being who is communicating with him here in Bonn. Okay Michael I'm gonna upload the video. I think Janet saw that you could trigger the wind clearly and I'm gonna upload the other video as well where she can see the hunting bird. Yeah because we use that in as, as a signal in the data file for yourself to identify you to Janet as well. So are you happy with that? He's happy with that. And now more wind is reaching this place. You can see it in the background there. And the wind wave is coming for a green. See? So on point that works. So I think Janet will also better understand the situation if we give her more videos. And Janet, the fact is for real, he's here in Bonn at the moment. You could be here anytime. It's up to you. You can use that chance and that would help you them communicate with Michael better live here in Bonn. And I could try to show you which communication ways you would have and then you could learn from there on. And I could help you with this. I would try at least. And he would show himself and communicate like he's doing right now. Right, Michael? Yes. Yes, and you see also the wind is triggered on a huge plant again. So it's becoming stronger and stronger. See, Janet? My hand is shaking a bit, but you can see it clearly. And over here is also a house in the backside that you get the dimension. It's a very huge tree. It's very much wind necessary to move that. Okay. So Janet, you're invited to contact me directly if I should help you with this. And I would do that, of course. Um, I'm looking up to the tree which is here. Uh, I would do that, Janet, but it's going to be difficult to help you to learn this communication better if... Uh, well, you're invited to contact me and you, you have the chance. That's the most I can do, to be honest, to help you. Um, you're invited to use that chance, but then you really would have to use it. So Michael and me would have the chance to show it to your life in Bonn. And that you can learn it better, right, Michael? And he's agreeing on it by triggering this wind clearly. See, Janet? That's part of the communication with your brother I'm doing live here in Bonn. And you could be part of it and then you could understand it better. And you could also ask him questions and he could react to that. Okay. I'm going to upload the video and I'm still trying to help you <laughs> and your brother. Talk to you maybe one day if you decide to use that chance directly because any other communication is not a good way compared to what Michael could show you live here and what we could do out of that. No, I did Action nine. So I have a visitor in the background. Maggie, a girl who's living here, just reached that balcony where we are right now. Maggie do not know anything about what we're doing here. No. We do universal communication. The wind is a being communicating by wind. You can hear the clear reaction on point when I speak. A being who have lived as a human being before. So, and with this plant over there, this video I'm doing is for his family members. Mm -hmm. With this plant over there, he can agree on some stuff and say yes by making this noise, or he can agree if I speak a sentence on a specific sentence by triggering the wind. 
And when we started this tree over here, the huge one was also very quiet. That's him showing himself to his family that he started to produce that wind. And because of it's so unbelievable that beings can do that, I'm a guy who produced hundreds of videos with other beings as documentation purpose and for their families. Good job. They're online, yeah. So I talk to you later, guy. <laughs> the one I'm speaking with. And Jay, I'm gonna send you another video later, okay? Just that you know. And he's happy with that, I'm sure about that. <laughs>